That returns good for about five. Manning's trotting on now. He'll be leading the Browns today. Well, here we go. Another start for Eli Manning. This guy basically has not missed a snap in his NFL career. He has done a great job of avoiding taking big hits. And, of course, also he's won a couple Super Bowls. MVP in both. The Browns take it from the 33. Hills tackled down after a gain of two. Keep an eye today on Jeremy Hill. I uh, loved him coming out of LSU, and man, this guy can run. He can run over you, he can run around you, he can make you miss. He has got the potential to be one of the best running backs in the NFL. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. And intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. We return to the field to get the second quarter underway. The Giants offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Go deep. Makes the catch. Touchdown. They've got the lead here. We have a review coming from the booth. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The touchdown from upstairs is reviewed, and it is confirmed. The Giants line up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. The Giants ready to boot the football down the field. Sanders is going to test the coverage this time. That hit by Sean Lee. That return is good for about 20. And there is Levante David. Their defense has had a lot to do with them getting out to this lead, and he's been the one setting the tone, Phil. Yeah, Jim, I love the way he plays. He's had a terrific day so far. His toughness, I think that's his greatest ball. Denarius Moore with the grab. Moore's met at the 23. That's his first reception today. The Giants set at the line. Dime package. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. First down here after the completion. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. Eric Decker with the reception. The Browns come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. He'll throw it over the middle. Picks up about five. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Third down and five. Fells with the reception. That's a gain of 10. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Makes the catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Manning's alone in the backfield. Second down, three for the first. The catch is made by Daniel Fells. And that's Grimes in on the stop. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that timeout. Those are big down the stretch. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Manning from the shotgun. Catch made. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. 
The Browns lined up. Everybody split out wide. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Bells with the reception. The long drive continues. The Giants come out in a dime package. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Can't hold on here as it goes incomplete. Got to give the defense a lot of a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Browns from the 22. Over to Pitta. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. And converts on the three. Both teams head to the locker rooms after a half dominated by the defenses. We've got a close one on our hands, friends. We'll send it out to Larry Ridley to break down the half as we continue in a moment. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Browns are behind right now, but the home crowd should give them a boost. The Giants have come in and looked good as the road team. We will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Giants have to feel pretty good about themselves. That last time on the field, they're out there a long time, but only gave up three in the end. Yeah, that's the good point. Uh, the bad point is they just gave up a lot of easy plays to the other the, to the opponent's offense. You know, you just can't give away easy passes and they'll run right up the middle and get yards. So they gotta toughen up. First down at the 19. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. Delay of game there after the quarterback did not get the snap in time. Quarterback has a lot of jobs on the field. One of them is always watching the play clock. Make sure he avoids delay of games. Five yards in the NFL, and it's five yards you don't want to give up. The Giants lined up in the nickel. Second and 12. He's drilled as he throws. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there. It's in the second half, and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you can just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. And that'll gain just a few yards. The Giants come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Wintner's the one who made the big stop. The Giants running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Back to the air here on first down. Jared Cook has the catch. That's his first reception today. This will be second down. We head to the fourth quarter, and these defenses have certainly shined, but they both know one little lapse, and it could cost your team the game. Yeah, it could if you have a group. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. 
that touchdown may have given them all the points they need to put this game away, partner. Well, they've controlled it almost from start to finish, Jim, so that drive was impressive. Now let's see if their defense can just finish it off. If I had to guess, I like their chances. The Giants ready to kick it away. Sanders has got a chance for a return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Giants defense last time out there said, you know what, we're in the three and out business. The great late Charlie Jones would have said that was spectacular. And that's what they looked like on that last drive. They just, they dominated in every aspect. You had to love Charlie Jones. Oh, he was the best. First down here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Intercepted by Reggie Nelson. He's brought to a halt. Phil, I think this defense has the quarterback rattled as he's trying to come from behind, but they seem to be there waiting for him, and on this occasion in the fourth quarter, an interception. Yeah, I think you're right, Jim. I think they're inside the head of that quarterback, and he is Randall, second-guessing everything he's doing. It shows when you watch him play, and the defense right now in control. Second down now. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. The Giants will take the snap from the 45. Keeps his legs moving. And he'll step out of bounds. Foster's able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. Ryan's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Lacey is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. Foster, he's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his first reception today. Stepping up to the line of scrimmage, the five-yard line. A low-scoring game today and a tough loss for one side. When you're in a low-scoring game and you lose it, it's doubly tough because you look back and you go, man, if we'd have just made one play, one play would have made the difference. Well, you didn't, and you still lost. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.